We're back. Divinity. I skipped ahead to the parts that uh, I got to on my first playthrough on the PS4. I, I tried playing on Switch, but although I love the portability of it, it just really didn't look good. And I find that with this game, it's not just about the looks. When you're in the battle and you're looking around and you're trying to see who's wet, who's going to get electrocuted. Because if you're shocking people and there's water, who, who's covered in blood, who's covered in poison. There's a lot of um, combat related stuff. You need to know exactly who's being affected. So I figured out that the reason I wanted it on my Switch was that I could put it in the dock and when I'm streaming or recording or... You know, and then I could play it in bed and kind of do all the, like, ticky-tacky stuff. Like, I just spent a few hours sort of rearranging all the skills. You know, going to the menu, the magic mirror, figuring out, like, who's going to have what. Kind of um, getting them a little more focused. I changed Beast to be a two-handed strength guy um, with mostly warfare. I think he, he has summoning from gears, so that doesn't matter. Bit of scoundrel, so he can do like adrenaline, that's useful, but I'm just gonna have him be a big strong guy who goes up and hits people. Sibyl, I left her the same. I used to have them both as these backstabbing scoundrels, but I found that there's only so much backstabbing you can do, because you need to have that room. I kept the you know, Laos to just kept like made her more of a powerful hydro person for attacking and uh, healing, and also some summoning, because I like I just like putting the totems everywhere. I think that they're really useful because they can... Well, the nice thing about them is that they can... Um, um, how, how do you say? Well, like, because this game is all about do you need to use magic attacks or physical attacks? And you have the ability to make the totem basically anything. You can put them in a pool of water for magic. You can put them in the ground and they can do physical attacks. That's really useful. And it also splits the enemy attacking you. So she's the only one that's a bit more split up. And then I've got him as um, Huntsman and um, Shooting. And with a little bit of Geomancer just from healing. And I had so many skills. And I'd given him some Geomancer stuff before. So, oh, he comes as a Geomancer. So why not? So I feel way more balanced now. In the way that, in the way that they're less balanced, each character, they're more focused. And I'm really excited now to get into combat. And I'm starting to get some interesting new skills too. Um, I think I actually just bought some skills. See, I'm still not even done all this extra stuff. Aerospray. Yeah, learn that, buddy. Barrage. It's good stuff. Uncanny evasion. Um, I got him some cool warfare spells, too. Adrenaline we already have. Rallying cry. That's fine. We should give this arrow to Ifan. All this crap. Knock down arrows. It's all because this game is all about knocking people down, and even these like grenades and stuff. Just, just send to him because he has the bonus for ranged attacks. But it's all about those status effects. Because if you if you knock somebody down or cripple them or blind them, if you're stopping them from doing damage to you and you're getting that extra turn of damage to theirs, I mean that's obviously what it's all about. It's all about how much damage can I do to them, right? Um, great. Uh, does that one also require a... What's the one we just learned? I wonder if it automatically equipped it. Arrow spray. 15 arrows in a 60 degree arc. Each arrow deals 23 to 25. That's a lot. That's crazy. It's only 15 meter range. So maybe he needs to um, be pretty close. Yeah, look at that. 68 damage. It also makes him crippled. Three arrows at 34, it's 90. Over, actually, uh, 102. 51, and then find someone else. 100. First aid. Yeah, we got all this crap here. Um, that's pretty good, providing 70 of physical armor. That one requires an extra G-Man. So is one of these I can get rid of? I rarely ever do this one, because in this game it's really all about armor over first aid, I think. Because you're just... Because once your armor's down, then it's, that's when you get hit by the uh, those status effects. So I think I might ditch first aid and keep fortify. There we go. Okay. Look at that. I spent like an hour and a half 
bridge housing. Anyway, what I decided was I would go to the PS4 because you can play on your phone. And it looks great. And you can actually... I paired my other PlayStation 4 controller to it. And it uh, pairs super easy. And I'm sitting in bed and it's like, I can't believe this. I'm playing my fucking... Sorry, excuse my fucking language. Playing my PS4 on my phone or a laptop or anything with a PS4 controller. So I can do all the kind of ticky tack stuff I don't want to do recording or streaming on the phone. So it kind of turns it into a Switch in a way. And also, even though I enjoyed starting over on the Switch, I felt like I've kind of already been through Fort Joy and I've done quite a lot. I looked back through the episodes that I'd done and there's quite a bit. So I think it was just time to move on and get the characters back up to their power that they were before and move on to the story that I'm excited about and hopefully I haven't forgotten anything but we'll see if I if I feel like there's some things that should be dramatic but aren't then I'll go back and kind of read over what I've missed but I get it we escaped the void woken are coming it's great all right and they say talk to some magisters the magister is rubbing the dirt off his robes None the worse for wear, apparently, from the blast of magic that knocked him off his feet. You, the so-called friend of Dallas. I'd be whining and dining aboard the Lord Dread if it weren't for you. Your meddling in Magister affairs had better be worth it. A man of stature wouldn't be moored on a dock with no one but dead fish for company. But here I am and here you are. So, to business. Now answer me. Did you meet with a Magister caravan on your way into town? The hour was growing late and I'm beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. The voice acting is so good in this game and I like that every single thing is narrated. So you can really relax and then have more of the story conveyed. And for me, streaming it, it's really nice to have it all, all read out. By the bishop's bones, you saw it? Now out with it, man. What happened? And that's pretty rare. I mean, a lot of games will have the majority of the first things people say to you read, uh, read out, narrated. And then after that, like, all the different branching dialogue choices are generally done just text-based. And that's probably so that you can have more variation. So it's a trade-off. But they, they put the money in to do every single bit narrated. Okay, we discovered that the cavern is waylaid by dwarven marauders. Came across the cavern east of town, destroyed by a void woken. The place is littered with dead magisters, sorcerers, and dwarfs. That's what we'll say. Because I don't remember if we're talking about two lies here. I'm just going to say, I remember there being a bunch of dead people. It's a caravan, and they were... Like, the point they were trying to convey is that they were brutally murdered. Ripped bodies like a great power awaits. Dwarves. I didn't say dwarves. Did I? Raymond, that old goat. Uh oh. Always suspected there's more to the driftwood dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ships sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan Love this game. to destroy. Love it. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen Good herself points was behind these acts of sabotage. That is what I want you to prove. Okay. And then the story with Beast is that the queen is his sister. And I think he's kind of had like a fall from grace. And she's taken over as the queen. They've always been snakes in the grass. Cheap labor, sure. And hard workers, too. Half of them are their queen's spies. Her eyes, her ears, her poison pouring hands. Hmm. <laughs> You know what Queen Justinian is like, sure. Good music, too. A tyrant and a master strategist to boot. Leo. There's a local thug, Lohar. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. Okay, Lohar. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the west of Driftwood. It's wild territory, 
That line I had such a different or recording I quality. The dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying up. Should okay. you find any such place, and better yet, proof the Lohar in that case. Go forth and let the hunt In short, travel west in search of a dwarven base of operations and the treacherous Reaper should any such place okay. come describe it to you. Alright, so we gotta find out what's going on with the Queen, his sister, this guy named Lohar. And oopsie. You receive among friends. Never and then head west to see those dwarves. Okay, let's check the journal and see what we have so far. Lohar. Okay. A beggar demands alms for a sick dog. Driftwood. Fighting arena. That could be kind of fun, actually. To get to use all your spells and stuff, that'd be fantastic. Sorcerers suspected of killing magisters. Where's this Lohar fella? Investigate Lohar. We need contact with local crime boss Lohar. I must her carefully. Let's take accuse of the spine. Magister Julia and us investigate Lohar's doing and drifted. Alright. Track it. Can we track it? Maybe it's tracked already. Law of the Order. Let's take a look at the map. Beggar's Dog. Magist the other Magister. Where's Lohar? Is he yellow? The hatch. The Black Bull. He must be in... I think, I think he's in the Black Bull. We could talk to the other Magister, too. Wow, it's such a beautiful town. Kind of reminds me of playing uh, Ocarina of Time. You know, this, this kind of style of like... Uh, well, the music, actually, is pretty similar to Majora's Mask. In the town square from Ocarina of Time. I wonder if we leveled up. We got like, a big chunk of points. Nope. Okay, good. I've already done enough messing with all the points and stuff. Well, you're supposed to be stopping intruders. There's still a fugitive on the loose. It's... it's Bellworth, sir. And the fugitive's description <laughs> doesn't match. I don't care. Keep on alert until this fiend's head is on a spike. I don't want to end up like the others. Now, you... It's interesting that they... Like, something has happened in the world, and then to see that these characters actually have a fear of that because they've seen people who are just like them have the same job as them being brutally murdered in a mysterious way and they actually care so like the events of it are affecting different people there's a chain reaction makes what things want, feel like they you matter can't just come in here as you please there's magisters missing i'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation mm, okay say he's racist about dwarves uh, yeah Mentioned we already heard about the fugitive who's been preying on them and I want to know more. Maybe this will intrigue him. Ah, I see. No, doesn't. You're sniffing around for a reward. Well, there'll be gold for anyone who helps us bring this mess to an end. Otherwise, you won't get a damn thing. What do you know? He's a tinkerer type named Higba. Grey beard and a dark cloak, according to reports. He's still here somewhere. He can't have gotten out of Driftwood. Not past our barricade. If you see anything, tell me or my men at well. Do you know anything? Hmm. So we're gonna say that this under tavern houses things. I guess that that's the part that's underneath the bar. <clears throat> so I feel like if this choice, we're sort of ratting them out. Maybe we shouldn't say that right now. Stop wasting my time then. I think we should go back, <clears throat> get some information from Lohar. Divine order of proclamation. Let it be known henceforth to each and every in the absence of our beloved Alexander, Bishop Divine, as were let fly by the perfidious the divine order of Lucian is now let Dallas, hammer of the divine, savior of the sorcerers, and new deliver the hammer shall take hail to the hammer. Okay. All right. Where this place here? Let's go there. know what their esteemed milady is up to. I feel like I'm missing out on that part. The milady. What's the milady up to? 
I wonder if the milady is trying to do something like she's going against all the magisters, maybe? Because she thinks that it's for the greater good. Investigate Lohar. And investigate the dwarven plot against the order. Speak of Magister Julian. And the white magister Raymond. Alright. Trick him into helping us. We rescued Meister Siva. She told us to follow her home. Oh, that's checked off. Check, 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 check. So we just need to open the Meister's hatch. So is accessible via button hidden on the wall band of painting. Okay. Hmm, what's that sword do for damage? I switched my guy to uh, two-handed strength bastard. Final selling capital. Capital. Where's the sword? Warhammer. I got something pretty similar. What's this two-handed sword I saw there? Huh? Indented two-hander. Alright. My friend Ink of the Dragon says he got all of his skill books, because they're all like a, at least a minimum a thousand gold. It adds up, right? He just steals everything. And uh, to do that, you just separate your your party, and then you have each person distract everyone else sitting around that has the vision cones, and then you can uh, sneak up behind them and take it pretty easily. See the cook for stew, friend elf. Oh, these guys are really, really highly armored. Pretty creepy down here. Look at that. A fresh face. And a pretty little kisser it is, too. Welcome be, Governor. Take a load off and enjoy. Right, good to see you again, Governor. Take all the time. Pleasure doing business with you, Governor. Okay, she's just got food and drink. And an apple pie. Just say the word, Governor. What are you after? Hmm. No problem. In return for a reasonable donation. Much obliged, Governor. Here's your bland. Wonder what we do with that. Herb mix. Do you have to is that a crafting thing or can you take that in battle? Herb mix. There it is. Herbal mixture that should grant ferocity to one who smokes it. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's a permanent upgrade or a temporary. Take that in the battle or what? Where's Lohar? Well, oh, you're not a dwarf. Clarissa. Such an opium den look with the, uh, the ratted curtains. Smoke billows from this strange contraption. It's adorned with hoses, levers, and slots. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, and now you craft. All right. How about courage and ferocity? Is this going to be temporary? Oh, I see. You have created nothing. <laughs> What do I have to mix it with a dark pearl? How's this? Nothing at all. All right. What about this stuff? Life essence. 
Nothing. Smoke billows from the. I just, I just want to smoke some herb, man. I just want some hookah blast. I just want to get high. Hmm. These grenades they had early and or these uh, backpacks are really annoying. Uh, my friend Nick the Dragon, he's, he told me he's like, don't bother with that. But I'd already added it on. It's one of the extra bonuses. I thought. Okay, the game's been out a year. These are the bonuses that are supposed to help the game, like faster walking speed. All the stuff that you think that by now they would have really figured out, right? No. No. Oh, maybe I already put it in. And you get nothing. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's find uh, Lohar. Hmm. It is basically like an opium den. Just people... Sleeping. Oh, you can teleport here. Nice. Really nice. Maybe I have to touch it so I can activate it for later. Is this sort of like a uh, underground fight club that we could go to? That might be kind of fun. I mean. I think the best part of this game is, a, is the combat, the way everything works together. All the different systems, <clears throat> you know, like... <clears throat> making people bleed and then electrifying the blood and God. all that stuff. Is there a void walking down there? Must Use. be one strong force field keeping it in sight. I wonder what using it does. Maybe she knows something about it. In the shadows, <coughs> a dwarven woman spits obscenities down upon a caged void woken. She exudes a powerful air of menace and an even more powerful odor of old sweat and dried blood. She spies you and glowers. More fodder for the arena. Let Murga the champion test how good your reflexes are. Curling her torn lip back over broken teeth, she grabs your hand and pulls you down to the ale-soaked table. Never losing eye contact, she begins arm wrestling you. Give her everything we got. She glimmers in and out of view, merging with the shadows. Crowing, she slams your hand down into the table, hard enough to draw blood. You need to practice more, dear. Try some pull-ups before you even think about going one-on-one -on -one with me. I bested that void woken below us, you know. Dragged that scaly lump down there with my own two hands. So, since you can't hope to beat me, what is it you want down here? Hmm. Well, let's not fight her. What's she got? 744 health. I mean, really way beyond us. Alright, where's Lohar? Oh, the music's so bloody good. Kind of, I mean, it's got that exotic, mystical sound, but also almost like a spacey, otherworldly theme to it. What is Lohar? Well, here's the red thing. Talk to Aaron. Figure it's time to prove yourself. All right. Let's get it done. Yeah. Ah, that's the spirit. Well, I've got to tell you. You probably want to see Murga around the corner before you draw blood. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll assent to any challenge. On your way, then. Well, let's, I just want to fight like a, it's a starter. To prove yourself. Yeah, let's fight in the arena. Let's get it done. Ah, it's the spirit. She'll want to talk with you herself before she'll assent to any challenge. Watch your words, mine. On your way, then. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I don't really want to fight her just yet. We saw her stats. They're crazy high. Hmm. Alright, where is Lohar? Curse ring. Hide and seek. A beggar with a sick dog. Talk to Murga. Aaron suggested we challenge Murga. Yeah, we did that. No way, man. Sure, find the Magister's murders. Where's old Lohar? Stuart, the ex-magister, believes Higba is innocent, but has no other suspects. 
And then the jerk magister guy who was terrified, he says he thinks it's Higba. Speak with Magister Carver. All right. Well, let's go. Mercy, mercy. What a nice place down here. Big pile of poison, just sitting there. And it's interesting because that'll actually hurt you, and then you know there's like an in-game effect to it. So it adds. It doesn't just make it look like oh, this, this is a place of poison. That'll actually hurt you. You got to avoid it. it. Makes you attach that sense of danger to it. More immersive that way. All right, let's go find. We t we talked to Magister Carver. Okay, so we wanted to check out this place before we s felt like we were ratting that guy out. Oh, Lohar might be up here. He's in his room, maybe. The town is poor, but this room is rich. Ah, Lohar could be up here if this room is so rich. Anything to steal? That wouldn't be Lohar, he had such a weak sounding voice. Yeah, how good is this music? Careful. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where? See, what you could do is you could have Ifan talk to this guy. Ifan does a double take and laughs in recognition. He pulls you to one side. I know this man, and he's not at all what he seems. Kind of sounds like Ewan McGregor. All right, go for it. Ifan bounds forward and embraces the man, all effusive greetings. As they part, talking animatedly, the man's beard slips sideways down his face. He's wearing a disguise. Ifan laughs as he straightens the beard. They chatter away for some time, using a guttural Cunt. cant you struggle to understand. At one point, the man says something and looks over at you intently. Ifan waves his hand and laughs. The man hunkers down and seems to be sketching a rough map on the floor using an apple, some playing cards and a fistful of threads pulled up from the carpet. Ifan claps the man on the back and turns to leave. Well, now we know the way to the sawmill. And we know Roost thinks I'm bringing you there as part of the Godwoken contract. Nice. So I guess if you would have played this game and didn't have Ifan, you would have had to figure this out a different way, right? We've got away to the sawmill. So what we could do is you have like him. Who's got the best um, pickpocketing? What is that an attribute? Thievery. Him. Beast. All right. So separate him. Separate them all. Ethan. Talk to this guy. The trickster formerly known as Callow. Sabeel, work your charms. Talk to this guy. Better watch yourself, lass. Got greed yet. Lausa. Talk to this fella. Doesn't this room strike you? But of course, I should hold my tongue and stand. And uh, everyone's looking over there. Okay, we'll leave. Oh, it's because we set off the um, the trap. Okay, Laus. Talk to this guy again. Go on, sun's out. You really want to be in here? Last morning. Oh, jeez. I guess I just need like a trap. I do have a trap disarming kit though. Go on, sun's out. You really want? What can we do? Disarm. So if I, oof! Look at that. Perfect. Have a lockpick. Ah. Hmm. Sneaking, how well you can sneak without getting caught. Thievery, lockpicking, pickpocketing. Pickpock. To pick locks, use a lockpick. 
Okay. I guess we need to get a lockpick. I could uh, t steal from this guy. He might have something. Back pocket. Yeah. Ah, oh, nothing. Lame. Oh, there's a gaudy key over here. That couldn't be what we think it is. Nice. Uh oh. No, I don't want to fight these guys. <clears throat> We're not going to fight this guy. He's our friend. Okay, how much these damage are these guys doing? 83. It's quite a lot. Is this guy going to count as an ally or what? I mean, he is. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Oh, this music's so bloody good. Okay, this guy's going next. Well, we should try to take him down. Do you have any magic, though? No, you don't. So, who's got the least amount of physical armor? Oh, these guys are like... Tons and tons of, uh... Physical armor. She doesn't really have a lot of, um, magical stuff. Blinding scroll. Yeah. I got this. Chloroform. Either that or I gotta hit this guy, like, 54 times with physical stuff. Alright, let's go for the, uh... That's pretty decent. 59 to 65. And I don't think the blind is, um... Blocked by armor. Let's do that. There you go. No, the blinding was blocked by the magic armor. Well, how about that? Uh, where was that big one that did quite a lot of damage? Uh, the chloroform. Do we have anything else that we can do? Kind of limited for magic for her. And all these guys have the exact same armor. Okay, we'll just end her turn. Alright, what's this guy gonna do? Oh, only five. Reflected. Oh, it's reflected! Chicken claw! How do you make him not be a chicken anymore? That's a big deal. You can't do much if you're a chicken. I think we're. I think we might be in trouble here. That guy's asleep already. All right. He has his next turn. What about Stefano? A trophic can attack. That's good. Oh no, we're a trophic. I see. We have atrophy. Oh, that's a bunch of bullshit. So what can we do? We need some... We need some help. We need some summon help. That's what we need. Alright, where's that little summon, guys? There you go. So now you can put, like, a... A totem out. Put it right in the blood. Shoot him. Bigger than I remember. A little incarnate. Sure. Much smaller. That's what I mean. <laughs> there we go. Now this guy can start getting involved. Ah, oh, that heals yourself. And does 67. Why, oh, what's the regular attack gonna do? Oh, shoot. I did it the opposite way. I did physical instead of magic. 
That was, that was really stupid. Oh well. I certainly screwed that up. I thought I mean, if these guys just waste time hitting them. How, how long am I, bloody chicken? That's ridiculous. That is a really powerful attack. Alright, so you know, what does he have that's even magic? Mostly physical stuff. I can go invisible. That's about it. I can do a little bit of that air damage, but that's it. Thunderbolt grenade. Stun targets. All targets. I don't think those guys will get stunned. But I could do Stefano and this guy. At least I take off some damage. Oh man! Procura ripped off face of beast for shape shifting? How's that work? Oh, from a corpse. Hmm. Well, these guys are getting attacked by physical, so I think we should just kind of go for it. I think we should go backlash this guy. Quite, oh, I don't have a dagger! I need to get rid of that! What a waste. Alright, sure. Dump this thing down. On old Stefano. Too far? Fine. How far can we move on one point? Okay. Get more adrenaline, get some more points in. So now we've got three action points left. And... Oh, that's nice. Both these guys actually... Their they're magical armor is so low, it's so tempting to just do the magic stuff to them. Well, what was that actual magic one that I had? Petrifying touch. There we go. Oh, if you're really close. Will it still let me... You know, like, with this game, is it'll give you this, like, 0 AP amount to move, like... If you just want to move that last little bit without using up any, um... actual... AP to move again. Like, if you... If you did move... as far as you should've. That seems fair, you know? Oh, I'm just out of range. Dun, dun, dun. Or maybe not. No, yes, yes, no. His toes in there. Choose target. Not enough. Hmm. Just kinda of feel like there's no no good choice at this point. Wow, that's just that does a lot. I guess I could move over here. Sneak up in the sky for next time. Or say you can save those points, right? Just took some shock. This guy's running for his life. Or is he going under the cupboard to get something? I am a chicken. No, I'm Sabeel. Alright, Sabeel. Oh yeah, she's blinding people. I think this guy gets turned next, so it's time to kick his ass. Sea bass. Hey, we can go over there and shock him. There. So now he's shocked, I guess, probably for like the next turn. So he's 
he's never going to get a chance to actually attack. Which is it good? Or maybe he is. Do I want to find out? Not really. Well, what's going on with this guy? He's only got 34. I think we should make our way over to him. Oh, she can move that far in zero? I guess it's because she's a pawn. Guardsman Malik no longer has blinded. That's fine. Because I shocked him. So, hopefully. Wait, let's get the shock on him for two turns. I'm not really sure. I don't really have any magic to throw at this guy, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I've got this discharge. Okay, that was him. Cool. Bam! Oh, he's so close. We could get one more point, but I d we don't have... We could use this flesh sacrifice thing. You lose what? You get a 10% damage boost and another AP, which is super useful. And... I mean, you lose like a little bit of your uh, constitution or whatever. A bit of your physical. But that doesn't matter, because it's all about the armor. Oh, and I still have adrenaline, too. But I don't have anything else magic I can really hit him with. So at this point, I kind of need to maybe use my um, speed and... Nah, I'm just going to stand here, and if he comes close, I'll blind him. I'm going to save those points. Boom! Got him! That's for physical, it's a big waste. The gag order. Silence. Not good. Alright, Loss is back at it. There. Magic time, baby. This guy has his turn next, but he's shocked. So maybe I should keep nailing him. Oh, and... Actually, she's got she's got some healing going on. This hasn't been the massacre I thought it was going to be. So far, I haven't made any mistakes. Okay, so like, Seville's got zero magic armor. Beast, 49 magic armor. He found us a chicken. I don't know how to fix that. So yeah, let's give her magic armor, baby. For all allies around the caster? So we should go walk... Let's get a little closer. Like, go right over here. And, uh... Yeah, baby. Are all allies around? I'll take that. Yes! Oh, and the incarnate and the totems! I love having the incarnates and the totems. They're not, they don't do a lot of damage, but they're just fun to toss around the arena. I used to have beasts do it too, actually. Just like throw down some totems. Because you can really set yourself up in a way like I did it in this one canyon spot where there were so many things above me. And it was just like totems everywhere. And could you imagine if I was smart? Oh, I said I didn't make a mistake. I totally have those blood totems. That was so stupid. They're just going to be whittling away the physical armor. All right, Lausa. Um, you know, let's do something. Let's try to... Let's try to screw this guy. Madden characters will attack those nearest to them. That's not what we need to do. But you can put that on somebody in a group. Restore the physical armor and magical armor. Your shield. Bless... Re regenerates vitality and magic armor. It's not super necessary right now. She could use more physical. That's your whole turn, though. Okay. So it does go to them, and then they lose their turn. I see. Interesting. Alright, beast. Now it's time to somehow... This guy's gonna get the next turn. Can you knock him down? See, he's again not a lot of uh not a lot of I almost need to have him have some like healing spells or something for other people. So if he gets in a situation like this where nobody has uh nobody's susceptible to being hit physically. Or you just commit. And to just try to knock people down. See, like, all this sucks. Could do 100 damage, though. God, that's a lot. That might be our best. Might be our best. Although, 
Actually, I'll tell you what. He, his sword does a little bit of magic, so. And can and it can shock him and apply acid. So now he's shocked. That's really good. So yeah. Alright. The incarnate. Sure. Okay. Now it's all done. Oh, and he gets... He took that health for himself? That's awesome. We're doing well. I wonder if there's going to be consequences, though. Like... I mean, is this going to set off an alarm? Oh, you fawn dead. I gotta, I gotta look up what do you do when you get turned into a chicken. Sibyl's pissed. How dare you knock down my brother at arms. Okay. Can we... Backlash? Yeah, you're screwed, buddy boy. Boom! And good thing we saved up the AP and just let it be what it was. And then from the backlash, you can... Ah, see the incarnates on the bloody way. Ah, so I don't get the backstab. Which is just so powerful. Well, this guy's almost dead. That's too bad. He was uh, Yf Yfan's friend. I wonder if Yfan will have something to say about that. I, do we have to kill him? Oh, maybe he'll just be sort of like down for the count, you know? Not necessarily dead. Like, I should have the next turn, but it's a shocked. Shocked is amazing. This guy's still, like, pretty full of it. Can we put a, to a magic totem down? What do we got here? Blood. Well, she can put water down, which is nice. But I think let's just attack this guy with... What do we got? Shields up. There you go, Winter Blast. Eat that, you jerk. And he's chilled. Do you lose a turn for being chilled? Seems kind of like kind of a lame way to lose your turn. Ooh, I'm cold. I just don't think I'm gonna fight. It's chilly. Volatile bolt of some random type. But if it ends up being physical, that's a waste. Blinding radiance. Uh, nope, that's no good. That's not really a good spell for her because she's got. You have to be close range. Let's get rid of that one after. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. I gotta organize this stuff a little better. Maddening song. It would be nice if um, there was an actual... I mean, I could rain to set something up for the totem. Can I just shoot this guy? Can I go, like, blast? There you go. Just do that. Oh, here he comes. So he wasn't shocked. So the one means they're coming back on their next turn. Holy crap! Whirlwind! Oh, she's alright. She's just knocked down. So I guess she lost a few turns. Hmm. You son of a bitch. Yeah, see, this guy's all... We got a few turns. We should go take down... Shoot, they're all magic-y. Fortify. I could, yeah, I could use some more physical armor. Oh. I just fortify the guy. Look at him! He's a golden god! That was so stupid. I do that often. Hmm. I thought for sure if you just pressed X and then press X, it would go on your character. But no. No. Petrifying touch. There we go! Earth damage. Oh, he's petrified too. Extra petrified. Fortified and petrified. When you are too fortified, you become petrified. Sure, tentacle lash. Blinding squall. Six. I can do well. Sixty-six. Holy moly! I'll yield to good. He's having a good round for somebody who's more of like a physical guy. Ah, the incarnate. He can't do much. 
I don't I don't want to wake him up though. I think I'll just have him stand in the way. You know, just like go over here and make sure that that guy attacks you first. That's really all I want him to do. And he ignored him. Ah, but he did that. <laughs> uh, sh okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. All right, Laos. Who's next? This guy's next. And we can do some terrible things to him. Some absolutely terrible things to him. Hmm. We need, we need more spells because they have so many that are on a cooldown. What have we got here? There we go. Anyone need magic armor? Not really. Okay. That worked. He seems to be frozen, so he's not going to be attacking me. I feel like, um... You, that doesn't stack. Like, I, th I threw three of them over there, and I feel like that didn't give me 90. It wasn't 30, 60, 90. It was one hit, and he's frozen, which is great, but... Wasn't super useful. Um, I guess we could, uh... Actually, restore... Restore old beastie. So, yeah, he could use it. There, that's useful. This jerk. What can he do? I can go invisible. Sets atrophy. You know, it might be time to just go with getting this guy's armor down. The old fashioned way. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. Oh, we can restore a physical armor. We should do that. There we go. Real nice. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't wake him up. There we go. Hit him again. He's almost dead. Okay, his turn is being frozen. Sabian. This guy is who we gotta worry about. Can you make him go to sleep again? Yes. Perfect. And a little backstab. No, he's got tons of. Uh, let's finish this guy off. <sighs> Alright. So we just have this one guy left. And it's all about magic. What do we have left? Nothing. Oh, electric discharge. No. Um. Alright, just save the AP for when you need it. Okay, Laos. Finish this chump off. He's got a decent amount of health left. Let's see, what can we do? We don't, I mean, regenerating armor is fine, rain. Thing is, she's also a volatile bolt. Blinding radiance? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Boom. Blind? Oh, she's got, um, like a magic thingy. There you go. Yeah, just do that. Again, back to him. Sure. Let's just... Let's just see what damage we can do to this guy. Oh, that right! The 13 magic. So he's got the magic on his axe. So that helps. This guy's helping. 41. Pretty decent. Oof, 90 points. So that hit a few of us, but I'm wondering if, um, just his decision to go after the Incarnate, or if that helped at all. Let's 
backlash and why not. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh uh, no, here's here's the here's the real stuff. Boom. Extra points. And really start smacking this guy. Oh yes. Yeah. I th really thought we were gonna lose. But um we did pretty well. And that was even with a couple totems that weren't ideal. Although them um sucking down the um the physical armor of them actually ended up really helping. So, it all helps. Okay, so. Whoa, big stuff. 25 magic is nice. Plus two finesse. And huntsman and lore master and lucky charm. So, if finesse has anything to do with um, bows, that would be really good for uh, our man, who is the huntsman anyway. Oh, it's probably his buddy. An old key. So that'll probably open up that uh, treasure chest. Some pretty lame daggers. The the item description for daggers looks really good. But uh, it's only... Oh, no. It actually is good. I was looking at the 2 to 3. That's only 2 to 3 fire. Good physical. So it's burning. 10%. 7 resurrection scrolls. It's pretty nice stuff. Gives you more geomancer. Cleave damage. Dodging. That could be a nice one for uh, Laos. 24 magic armor and more summoning. That could be a nice one for um, either Beast or her if I need him to. See, that's that's another way that Beast could. That's probably why I ended up giving Beast all those summoning spells is that at least he could summon something that's going to do magic damage. Or at least help him do physical damage to whittle him down. The Screaming Widow. This is amazing stuff. This is where I get bogged down in this game. It's because then I think all this stuff gives you plus one, plus two. Do you just focus? It's easier if you just focus and go like, that's my GMNs, I give them everything. But if you give at least like one summoning, let you do a lot more, you know? Oh, he doesn't have anything. So it's just his friend that we stole from. High quality air essence. I guess we're not going to hear from Ifa until we uh, bring him back to life. Panties. All right. I feel. I wish um, Ifans would have turned on those guys since he was, uh, you know, because he was he knew Ifan and he was uh, a spy. But he's stuck. This is good. Thirty-one and twenty requires some finesse. Big poison battle portal. 23 magic. No big bonuses, but guess what it is? We're fine. The gaudy key. Nice healing potion. Physical armor potion. That's hilarious. Oh, I didn't even read what that one was. I think it was a ring. Oh, grants the chicken claw. That's nice. Oh, that's good. Hmm. And then there's this one if somebody has a level 3 lore master. Okay. Alright, is everything in the room? Curious to see what uh, decent leggings if uh, somebody doesn't have them. There's some armor stuff where you have tons of it, and others categories where you don't, really. Alright, let's lock up the team. Lausa, you've got the bedroll. Everybody lay down in this room. What are you gonna say, Fun? Well now, how's my favorite god woken? The guy with the fake mustache. An old lone wolf colleague of mine in disguise. Kalo. He's hunting Godwoken, but don't worry. Was that a different guy? Tell him or does he mean this guy? The poor fellow would have an attack of the bloody flux if he knew what was really going on. No, I think it's somebody else. Don't worry. I'm not going to hand you in. I think we should just play it cool. From the glint in his eye and the wicked... Sp All right. It has the potential to get messy. Very messy indeed. But I've got your back. If and smile. Okay. That was good. Great battle. 
really exciting. I think I've realized I need to um, get a few more spells going for uh, Lausa, it seemed like. Um, or just commit to, to the physical, like, even if they have 250 physical and only 40 magic, it gets tempting to go after him with the magic, but just get in there, just mix it up. And just still focus fire, like have all your physical guys take out half of them or something and put the magic on the, on the other ones. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you thought about this part. If you have any tips because you've been playing this a lot and, and I'm just missing out on something, I'd love to hear it. I'm going to end this episode and uh, fiddle around with all the armor loot we picked up. Bye.